This is the plaintiff, Richard Walton. He says he purchased a motorized scooter from the defendant, paid for it, and took it home. The defendant promised him she would deliver the title to him so he could get it registered, but instead ignored him. That's right. She refuses to answer the door, didn't answer his calls, and if she thinks he's going to go away, she has another thing coming. He's suing for $2,500, the amount he paid for the scooter, and emotional distress. This is the defendant, Nicole Marie Butler. She says she was very upfront with the plaintiff regarding the messed up title, and he was fine with it, paid for the scooter and left on it. Next thing she knows, the plaintiff's stalking her, showing up on her property at all hours of the day, and he began to scare her family. Well, she's sorry if the guy has buyer's remorse, but she's not giving him back his money. She's accused of scooting out on a scooter sale. All parties, please raise your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff bought a motorized scooter from the defendant and says the defendant never delivered the title, the so judge, they Maryland. couldn't register it. But the defendant says the plaintiff went into this eyes wide it's open. It is the case of Scooter Glibby. Thank you. Mr. Walton, you are suing David Ortiz and Nicole Marie Butler. You have power of attorney for both of you? I do. I mean, for him. All right, for $2,500 on account of a $450 moped that you can't get title for. Yes. So talk to me what happened. Uh, I got on Marketplace and stayed the bike that she was selling, went down, paid for it, and can't get the title to it. Okay. Did you know at the time that you were buying it that while you were handing money, a title wasn't coming into your hands? Yes, she said okay, that. What her, did she say about it? She said her husband had signed it in the wrong spot and that I'd, I'd be able to get it the next day or two. Okay. But I took the scooter that day with me. So I said, fine. Cause. Okay. So that was, you paid, you ended up paying $450 yes. for it, right? And then were you driving it around? No. I don't you were have waiting no for the title, title, no tag so or nothing could, on it. There's nothing on it. So no. how'd you take it? I put it, a friend, I hauled it back to my house. Okay. In a truck or something? Yes. Okay. A SUV. An SUV. All right. And wh where's the title, ma'am? Um, I have it right here, actually. The original signed and everything. Okay. Well, why didn't you give it to him? Um, well... I don't know if you want to look at it, but here it's got like signatures all over the front and the back. And it, after going to the DMV, it looked like getting a replacement um, was not going to be possible. Why? Because when we bought it, um, we bought it for $50. Um, the title, when we purchased it for $50, had signatures all over it. And we were thinking it was just a good deal, you know, for 50 bucks. And he fixed it up. Um, and then when I represented it for sale, you know, we Wait, were up so front. so he fixed it up. That's why you were charging 450 Right, right. Right, and? Um, so, so that was why, you know, I presented it to him and told him before he paid for it that there was issues with the title. Exactly what did you say to him? So can you sell a motorized scooter without title? Probably not. If it's a motor vehicle that can be used on the road, I think you have to sell the title with it. I would ax the word probably from that, uh, going inside the courtroom. I said that um, my husband's the one who spoke to him, but he told him, you know, basically the title's got signatures. I was there. Okay. And what did you hear your husband tell him? That the title's got signatures all over it and we're going to have to go get another one. Right. So he knew that you had to fix the title. Now what you've learned that's new is you can't fix the title. Right. So don't you think that the guy deserves his money back if you can't fix the title. Well, I the whole point was there was no guarantees made. I mean... No, no. There's only... there's. I agree with you. When you sell a used item as is, there's no warranties except for one thing, the title. So if you can't convey a good title and this item is under someone else's name, he can't ride it on the public roads in the state of Florida. So I don't understand why you won't return the money. This is a bad thing that happened to you, not to him. Can, can he not drive it? Doesn't the Florida statute state that mopeds don't need titles to no, be registered? Does it go more than, what is it, that I think the limit's 40 it's miles a, per hour or something a, like that? It's a 150 cc. It's got to be under 49 Yeah, it's got to be under, so no. But aside from that, he wants to own it. He doesn't want to own something in someone else's name. So what's your plan, honey? Well, I mean, after we were going to try to see if we can contact the person whose name's on the title and get a replacement, but after he started showing up to my house and scaring my mother-in-law, I how did I he didn't scare your mother-in-law? 
she came and she was like, there's some guy standing outside. He's talking to me about this scooter. I don't know what he's talking about. She didn't want to go in the house, so she left. Then I think she came back and he was still sitting there and he said, I'm not leaving until I get the title. So then I stopped dealing with him because I said. No, oh, and what do you think was going to happen, sweetie? I have no idea. Okay, when my kids were little, they would take their finger and they would go like this and they'd say, the sun is covered. <laughs> we call that in Spanish, tapando el sol con un dedo. Just covering the sun. Sun's gone. That big old sun is gone because I'm doing like, what did you think was going to happen? I mean, mm -hmm. did you think he was just going to walk away? He's not going to walk away. You don't have, this is a problem, and you ignoring it wasn't going to eliminate the problem. He yeah. is a very determined individual. You know that because he scared your mother-in-law and wouldn't leave. So you know that he's not going away. So where did you think this would end up? Pay him back the $450, and you tell me how it is that you are entitled to $2,050, how you have made a $450 case into a $2,500 case. Go ahead, I'm listening. Well, that was the last I could... To pay the small claims, it goes from that to 2500 and then after that, it's more money. So, and I had to sue for the lesser amount. And Okay, I, you're supposed to actually be out the thing you're suing for. What? Well, your answer is, it's the most I can get, Judge. <laughs> it's the most I, mean, I can get, otherwise I gotta pay another 1750 <laughs> in filing fee. No, the, you're not entitled to emotional distress. This is a contract case. Miles. You are entitled to your court costs. That's what you were gonna ask, okay. right? Oh, and the miles of driving back and forth to her house that she's supposed to meet me every time. And then, you know, it just, it was lie after lie. Yeah, okay, so you're entitled to the 450 back. You're also entitled to your court costs that you are out, and you're entitled to prejudgment statutory interest from the time that you paid the 450. Mm -hmm. So that'll probably take care of that. This is your, it's not even your moped, I don't know whose moped it is, <laughs> but you're gonna have to make arrangements to get that moped because I'm ordering you to return the money. That's where we are. Good luck, folks. Thank you. So the plaintiff prevails, he's gonna get his money back, but not what he was asking for. What happens now? What are you gonna do? Maybe he can drop it off at my house. Or you go get it. I could do it. that too. One or the other. Yeah. But you're gonna get it. The, the title, your name's not on the title either, is it? Nope. So what are you gonna do with it? Um, I, I mean, you I- You don't know. No, I'm gonna be stuck with it, I guess. Yeah, I guess you are. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, Mr. Walton, you're gonna get, <laughs> I love suing for $2,500 for a $450 bike. Well, it's just pain and aggravation and putting up with all yeah, the well, lies. You going to buy another one? Uh, yes, I am. Hunt for one? Oh, I'm going to buy a new one. Hope, yeah, yeah. Good for you. Yes. Good for you. Hope you get a better deal right, this time. Thank you. 40 miles an hour, right? Oh, no. Goes, Top speed. No, it goes faster than that. Speed demon. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Harvey? You know, Doug, I mean, here's the thing. She needs to prove she can lawfully sell it. And if you don't have title, you don't have the authority to sell a motorized vehicle.